Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Gay From Scratch, and today we are talking about Affinity, the makers of Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer, two programs I absolutely love and highly recommend that you go and buy them, <laughs> except that you can't. So yeah, today we've got uh, some bad news, some curious news, and if you stick around to the end, some very, very good news if you happen to own an iPad. So what exactly are these Affinity products I'm talking about? Well, these are the most legit Photoshop options out there. If you're looking for an alternative to Photoshop or Adobe products, it is hands down Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer. This first one here, this is the one I use the most. This is Affinity Designer. This is an alternative to um, Adobe Illustrator. And basically what you're doing is you are drawing with the power of math. So what you see here, this is made up of a number of compound shapes. For example, here, this uh, piece, this is the headlight. These are the headlights and so on. So basically you draw with physical shapes so they can make resolution independent um, shapes and such. I use this for all of my thumbnails. It is incredibly good at handling text placement, for example. And then for the other things that you need to do, you often move over here and this is for raster graphics. This is the closest thing you are going to find to a Photoshop alternative uh, because basically you use it layer based approach Pixel art, pixel drawing, graphics, um, basically, again, a raster image manipulation. Of course, you got all your filters in here. It is compatible with Photoshop filters, etc. A lot of people who got sick of Adobe subscriptions moved over to these products. And a lot of them are pretty happy with their solution, especially because you can get or you could get Affinity Photo and Designer basically for a one-time purchase. They're one of the few companies out there that hasn't been bitten by the subscription bug and I love it. But between uh, Designer and Photo and then also this program right here, Luminar Neo, which is kind of like the alternative to a bit of what Photoshop does and what Lightroom does. Those three programs, because of them, DaVinci Resolve and Camtasia, I live a 100% Adobe free life, which I think a lot of people are aspiring towards doing. So what's the news here? Well, the bad news is I told you I would recommend going to buy these. You can't. There's no store. You go onto the Microsoft store for them. They don't exist. You go to uh, the website here. This is the homepage of the website. And let's go to the menu. And uh, yeah, there's no store at all. So even if you go to store, all you've got is help. There is no way to buy these products anymore. None whatsoever. Uh, so that's a, that's a little scary. And what we've got here is this ominous announcement right here. Creative freedom is coming. Sign up to be the first to know. True creative freedom is just around the, co the corner, October the 30th. So something is coming on October the 30th. I think freedom is a key part of it. So I don't know if they're going to go from being $50 to being free and supported through another means. But the thing is, I like the way they sell these products right now. So I don't, I can't think of too many ways where this is going to go that are going to make me happy. So unless they made them completely free, and I don't see the business case for that. And by the way, the part that should make you a little scared about this is this. Back about a year ago, a little bit over a year ago, Canva bought Affinity. Yeah, that's not great. Uh, so Canva obviously are, are famous for making, well, Canva. And if there is a company out there that keeps Adobe up at night with fear, it is definitely Canva. Uh, so there were no uh, headcount changes at Affinity as a result of this, and they said that uh, they're not going to uh, to muck things up. But people like honestly came out of this pretty spooked, uh, including myself, because people like the fact that you can buy good software for an affordable price. It's strange how that works, eh? Uh, and having Canva pick them over, Canva is a subscription-based solution, and n uh, not that many people want another subscription product in their life. Well, the good news is Canva came out right away with this pledge. So in the wake of the use yesterday, uh, they were concerned that Affinity subscription-based software, uh, thankfully the combined teams just emailed the following pledge to several Affinity customers, but not everybody, oddly enough. So they're making four pledges, one, fair pricing. Perpetual licenses will always be offered and we will always price Affin Affinity fairly and affordably. So let's see if that stays true because it sounds like they're gonna change something massively. Two, accelerating Affinity. Affinity is here to stay. It will remain the highest quality pro design suite and will now accelerate the rollout of new features. Three, accessible for all. Affinity Suite will soon be made available without charge to schools and registered nonprofits. And four, community led. We are committed to shaping Affinity's future guided by your ideas and feedback. The number one that most people were interested in was the number one, that the perpetual licenses are gonna stick around and the low prices are going to stay as well. 
a little afraid about this. By the way, this is not legally binding, and it's been a little bit over a year, and people think that, I think companies think that we have very short memories. Uh, so the good news, though, is if you own an iPad right now, run. Run out to the store and pick up Affinity Designer, Affinity Photo, and Affinity Publisher. They are all available on the App Store for iPad. They do not work on iOS devices. You need a bigger screen. These are wonderful implementations, by the way. I use this constantly on an iPad. Something about being able to do the thumbnails for this channel on my toilet. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, that image is now in your head. But Affinity Designer and Photo, I haven't used Publisher personally, but on the iPad, they're basically, they've got a tweaked UI, but otherwise 100% um, of the same features and functionality. So what you're going to notice here is it's actually free. It's always been free, but that's been a trial. I think it's been a one week trial up till now, but what you can do right now until the end of October is for a single payment, get a no subscription permanent life, uh, um, license on here. Uh, and look at the price right now, $0 photo, $0 and publisher. Zero dollars. So if nothing else, what you want to do, get on your iPad, go to the App Store, and pick these three products up. Now, it's not enough to just download them, I don't think. I think you also have to go and unlock them. It's going to be free to unlock them, and I highly recommend you do. Because I don't know where they're going to go with this. This is very vague and very ominous. But in the meantime, you can't buy Affinity products like for the desktop versions anywhere. They've yanked them from the store. So I'm thinking that they're going to change the way that they're selling them so much that they don't want to basically screw people between now and then, which is a good move. I appreciate that. Uh, but in the meantime, you can't buy these products except on the App Store where you can get them completely free. So yeah, we got some good news. Uh, we got some bad news and we got some scary news, I guess we could say. So what do you think this ominous warning is telling us about? What do you think of Canva? Do you trust Canva as a company? Or do you think they're going to just incorporate affinity into Canva and say, hey, look, it's free if you have Canva, in which case that would suck because Canva is a subscription project. But let me know what you think. I, I love these programs. I highly recommend them. And if the 30th comes and goes and it's not something insane, which by the way, I will cover it when we finally know, I highly recommend and you pick these up. But in between, before that 30th comes, if you have an iPad, go to the App Store and buy them. Get the uh, Download them and then get the DLC, which is currently free. That is normally 20 bucks per app. So uh, it is a nice savings there. So let me know what you think. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.